Hey guys, my name is Julia. I'm a freshman chemistry major here at UT. I did not get to post a video last week, unfortunately, because I kind of had forgetfulness. It's a disease. It is an uncurable disease. It's affected my life. It's like crazy, like leukemia, but worse in ways. I don't So I know I deserve a punishment, but I will post that in a separate video. So this week, we are actually going to be doing talents, and I have lots of talents. I'm a talented young person. I can't show you guys a lot of those talents because they are either indescribable or they're really, really boring. And one of my talents is not sucking at chemistry. I don't think a lot of you guys want to sit through a chemistry video. When I want to be a little bit on my creative side, I go to yarn, and yarn is great. If you haven't seen yarn, you're missing it. I have just so much yarn, just look at all this yarn. So what I'm gonna be teaching you today is something that you can actually make right at home with things that you probably already have just like lying around. So what is this miraculous thing that we have? It's called plarn, 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 plarn. It, it literally never ends. So today I'm going to teach you guys how to make this beautiful plarn and how to crochet with it. The first thing you're going to do is going to get a lot of bags. What you're going to do is you're going to fold the bags flat. You're going to just like take one end and pull it. So with this, you're going to fold it. After you fold it in half, you fold it in half again. Then you get scissors, and my scissors are over here. Oh god! There we go, scissors. If you want to get a date using one of these talents that you see on these vlogs, stop now. Some people are into the whole Rubik's Cube thing. That you could get you could get some people with that or make them ramen. So you take your bag and then you fold it a third time. What you do is you cut a little bit off the end. After that, you cut off the baggy handles. Then you're gonna cut the bag into pieces. About inch to inch and a half pieces. Yay! Once you pick up the pieces that you dropped, you should have oh goodness gracious. You should have five pieces, or four, something like that, I don't know, depending on the size of your bag. You can start like this, all cut up, you just unravel them, and you have like a ring, a ring of fire. Unfold all of the rings. Okay, so now you're going to have like a bunch of rings like this. This is just one bag. Ah, Savinia, something else. Hooray! Take two rings, put one like this, that the other. So it's like that. And then you reach inside the ring and pull it. So they actually do this. We have now successfully knotted two of these loops together. And we have made a length of yarn that is this long. And then we just keep on doing that. So that's what I'm gonna do. Cool. You do this with a lot of that. Then you just keep on connecting those forever. You just keep connect connecting them until you're dead. You never do anything else with your life. If he falls as Lucifer fell, he falls in flame. And so it must be, for so it is written on the doorway to heaven. So once you get those all connected, you're gonna have this really long strand, and then you just kind of crochet it like normal. The point of going a little bit farther on is this. This is all with the Walmart bags, so as you can see. But you can. It's also a hat. Yeah. What's up? 